on this unbeatable value. You do have your color choice, so I'll quick show you those because you want to jump on this. Trust me, at this value, it's not going to last. So there you're looking at the red. Again, always a foodie favorite for sure. But then we have a, color, a couple of different color options. And with this display, you see you get the paring knife, the chef's knife, you get that sandwich knife, and then you get the crinkle cut set. So there you are, there's the red. Remember, $19.98 for all four, and each one's gonna come with a protective sheath, by the way, so you can keep these in a drawer. Then we have black over here. I love this. I'm building a home, I'm doing a black and white kitchen. Look at you. I'm gonna have to pick up this set so it totally coordinates. Here is the blue. We've got purple for you. That is my most limited color. And then, of course, we have the green. So, Kuhn Rakan, why are they so renowned yeah. for their knives? Swiss family, been in the business for decades because they do them right. What makes a great knife? It has to start with the finest quality material, mm -hmm. but it has to be super duper sharp. I mean, everybody out of the box, there's nothing more exciting than getting knives. So, I'm out of the box mm -hmm. and they're like, whoa, that's what a <laughs> sharp knife is. So, the knives we're giving you today. Three of them are knives everybody needs in the kitchen, and then one is the bonus on here. But this is what yes. a sharp knife should do. Follow me here, watch okay. this. You shouldn't have to saw. You should be able to just pull it through. And that's just through a soft pull grape. Pull it through. Wow. That is a grape. I used to do a blueberry back in the day, and it would do a blueberry as well. I would never think of taking a knife to a blueberry. You could do that with this set? Yeah, you wow. could. It's that sharp. The point, this is a paring knife. You want that small knife for doing the small jobs. Your garlic, your onions are missing on here. Here's the beauty of this knife in Kuhn Recon. Japanese steel under the, underneath, which is the finest steel available. But don't let this nonstick coating fool you. This is Japanese steel all the way through. The nonstick allows for easy releasability from your food. Which so is everything great, is especially not when to we it. show you the cheese. Because yeah. don't you hate when cheese sticks to your food? Or really anything, because then you got to take the time to wipe it off, slows you down, right. sometimes becomes a hazard around your fingers. But look at this, the tomato. Normally, I would have to pull out a serrated knife for mm -hmm. tomatoes. You can use the paring because of that sharp blade. And yeah. Marie, Louise, you, I know, and all you professionals in the kitchen always say, a sharp knife is the safest knife. It is. Yeah. You have to have a sharp knife. And by the way, these, you can sharpen these. Mm -hmm. The sharpening shark. Got it right there. Ah, so look at you. Shark. Sharpening shark is perfect for this. Pulling it through, don't worry about all that coating coming off. So let's talk about the chef knife. This is what you're using to lob off the top of your pineapples. This is what you're using for your meat. This is your longer knife right here. You can see that sharp edge on here. Pinch it at the top, grab it at the comfortable handle, and then do what feels comfortable for you. I'm a rocker. Yeah, I love rocking. I'm a rocker. I like to go back and forth. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice. Or once again, just pulling through like this. Pulling through on your cutting board. Mm -hmm. But remember, when you're sliding through, you're using your knife. That makes it easy, nice and sharp, and the cover is so important. We put these in our drawers and we, we send the kids, can you go get me mm -hmm. that chef's knife? Don't have to worry about grabbing in there. Look at you going on with that. You've got a great technique as well. <laughs> Thank you. But it's really the power of the knife makes cutting oh yeah. so easy, easy. But look at how thin I was able to get these slices of mushrooms. And I didn't shred up or tore up or tear up the yeah. mushroom, yeah. which is really, really important. important. All right, yeah. let me remind you of colors and then we're gonna go to more demonstrations, especially with the fun one, the sandwich knife, because these are popular. Remember, this is $20, less than $20, and you're getting all four. So here's a look at your red. There you get the chefs, you get the pairing, you get the crinkle. And then of course you get the fun sandwich knife. Here is the blue and the sheaves color coordinated back to the color of knife. There's your black, awesome. The green we actually call olive. So you wanna order olive. And then we have the purple, customer top rated. We had those reviews at the bottom of your screen. People saying this is just awesome. They work. Now, if you're that person that's always making lunch for the kids to school when they go to camp, hubby to lunch, this is going to be your new best friend. Yeah. Well, it's serrated, and we love serrated for going through bread and go for going through big tomatoes. Look at that. That cuts all the way through that lovely serrated edge. See that? That's that high quality Japanese stainless steel underneath that non stick on there. That's that edge. It's sort of scalloped for serrated. Now, what's great about it is, I call this the one schmear wonder. Ooh, Why do I schmear. do that? We're because schmearing. Because now I can go in, and what I do, here's a trick that I do. I take the dull side okay. when I'm going in. I take the dull side. Dull side in. Look at <gasps> that. 
Awesome. That's a nice That makes a nice butter. schmear on there. And I don't have to go back in for a second time with the butter knife. Look at that. That See, just completely that's they covers the, the bread. Peanut butter, mayonnaise, butter, whatever you want to use. So you've got that sandwich knife. You've got that serrated to cut your bread. And you've got that big, wide base at the bottom to, to smear it. Awesome. Go. I'm going through a big, we one, we thick, a, we have a fun one to do here. potato, by the way. Oh. And I'm just getting nice and thinner slices. Now, normally you could use something like the Genius if you need, if you're going to be doing a lot and you want to get through it quickly. But if it's just one or two, two potatoes I got to get through, I'm just going to pull out the chef's knife to do it hey. in this set. Grab yes. this one now. Grab okay. your crinkle knife. Let's okay. make something pretty. Okay, this is oh, the that? fun oh, one. Now this I'm going to have fun, fun with the potatoes. All right, now okay. look at this one. This is a crinkle knife. What does this do? This makes those cute little crinkle cut things that you usually find on like your deli trays. Mm -hmm. But watch how simple it is. I like to hold it right here. Just kind of pinch the end okay. and you just push down just like this. Push down. And look what I get. Look at that cute potato with the crinkles on there. So if you're doing your own little trays for graduation parties and 4th of July parties, take your cucumbers and do your cucumbers, oh, your zucchini slices with a little bit of dip on there. And watch. You just push all the way through. And look. Awesome. All the little crinkle cuts. Now you I mean, recommend hand washing these, correct? Yeah, yeah, very carefully hand washing them, drying them, putting the covers on them, and putting them back into your drawer. But everything that you need. Show the cheese. Everything that you need. Yeah, the non-stick. We were talking about the non-stick before. Yeah, I just me, want you to I see got the peanut cheese. Butter on By this the way, the right sandwich here. knife too, great on croissants because you know how delicate that is. You never rip up or tear up that croissant. So this is wonderful. So there's the cheese. Notice how it's not sticking. Normally you'd have that goop on the side of the knife. It would tear up the cheese. This is great for a soft mozzarella. Yes. Yeah, awesome. It's a great everyday set. Again, not one knife costing 20. You're getting four for $19.98, but only while supplies last. Once a color goes, that is it. Eating some cheese there, One of friend. four food groups in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Is wine considered another one? Oh, yeah. It is for me, yes. <laughs> K45321 <laughs> is your item number. This wraps up our cooking show here now, but we're going to do some kitchen clearance. Two hours coming up next. This this pretty lady, Chef Joe, a whole lot of other pretty of your pretty. kitchen favorites coming back with mirror. you shortly. All right, mirror. Oh, mirror, mirror, mirror. <laughs>Retail value represents either an actual comparison shopped price or the price QVC believes the same or a comparable product would be offered by other retailers using a customary markup. Retail value does not necessarily represent the prevailing retail price in every community or the price at which QVC previously sold the item. The comparable retail value represents a comparison shopped price for other merchandise of like grade and quality to the item being advertised. The if sold separately price is the price that a product with multiple components, for example a five piece kit, would be expected to sell for if each individual component were valued separately and those values were then totaled. The if sold separately price does not take into account the pricing of other multi-component products at retail that may contain some of the same component items. Featured price represents a savings over the regular QVC price. After the featured price ends, the item will be offered at its regular QVC price if QVC continues to carry the item. MSRP refers to the manufacturer's suggested retail price. It is based upon the supplier's representation of value. No sales may have been made at this price. Stacey Stoffer, I am so happy to be